So uh, welcome everyone. My name is Rotem Baor. I'm a professor at this uh, program of smart cities and urban informatics headed by Professor Felsenstein, who is uh, not here at the moment. And with me here is Fatima uh, Smitan uh, from the grad, uh, graduate, uh, International Graduate School uh, that will later answer any administrative issues we have. Uh, so I'm going to present now the, the program for a master's in smart cities and urban informatics that we are holding here in the Hebrew University. And to begin with, I'll just start with uh, trying and ask um, you know, the definition of, of the main two phrases that we actually name in this program. So a smart city. A smart city is not uh, well-defined. Uh, I guess it's more, more than, you know, of a buzzword that you can hear in many uh, lectures and shows and, you know, news items and stuff like that. But, but what it is actually, so we're talking about uh, the new city, the new city forms that actually harness technology in order to optimize the well-being of its citizens and make our quality of life better, uh, like uh, improving access to services, enhancing you know, personal safety, reducing air pollution, um, reducing equality, and many other things that we'd like to see in you know, ideal cities. Uh, so this is on one hand. On the other hand, we have the urban informatics uh, phrase, that this is actually the technical toolbox, uh, the, the set of, of tools that we have in order to use that vast technology that actually penetrates the cities in the last uh, decade or so and uh, make it smart. So in this uh, program, we are going to focus on both sides and we put uh, uh, very specific goals uh, for our students. So first of all, we'd like our students to uh, Actually, we like to, um, to grow the new generations of urban planners and analysts and all these kind of uh, professions that are now taking, uh, uh, taking place in the scene of the new smart cities and the new technological cities that we see uh, all around the world in order to, uh, to actually address the challenges of smart cities. Uh, we would like our students to have hands-on experience. So it's not only a theoretical uh, program, um, we are actually going to, uh, to analyze big data, to write computer language, uh, to, do, to actually know these uh, technical uh, uh, utilities and devices that are actually making any smart city smart and understand them in order for us to be, uh, to be in that developing system of the future city. And uh, well, our, the last purpose, you know, it's a university. So after all, we do want to actually contribute to general humanity. And we want to uh, improve uh, the, the urban life and the urban environment using this technology. So uh, this is an addition uh, goal of this program. program. All right, uh, so what does the program include? It has a total number of 34 uh, credit points of classes. Uh, which is actually divided into three sets. So uh, the main set is the core courses, uh, which has 16 uh, credits. I'm going to elaborate a bit more about the you know, kind of courses that you have in there. Uh, the, second, uh, the second set is a, a set of method and tools courses of six credits, where uh, you will be uh, more into the uh, technical and uh, methodological uh, courses uh, involving GIS and, and other things like that that I'm going to elaborate in the next slide. And then there are the electives of 12 credits, uh, of which six credits are actually included as uh, field courses. So we have a lot of field trips or um, courses that are held outside the campus. We are going to visit uh, central uh, high-tech uh, hubs. We're going to see uh, the work of uh, smart cities in Israel, in uh, local municipalities, in uh, government offices, we are going to meet people. We're going to go outside and see how um, ancient cities in the Middle East become smart using and leveraging uh, technologies. Uh, so we're talking about two semesters, uh, theory and practical applications, lab classes, as I said, we have uh, field work, uh, study experiences outside the classroom, as told. 
And uh, I would like to emphasize here that we're talking about a program that is condensed into uh, all the classes are going to take place in two days uh, per week. Uh, so of course, that sometimes we are going to have a field trip, you know, in, in the third day. But on an average of a two, two and a half days a week, it will still leave you some space to either uh, enjoy your, uh, Israel as a tourist, as an external visitor, or even uh, uh, work if you like. All right. Um, so some examples of the courses that we give in the program. Uh, we are going to deal a lot with GIS, uh, geographical information systems, and uh, some intro to remote sensing by using satellites, uh, aerial photography, and other tools that uh, urban planners and geographers in smart cities uh, actually use. Uh, we are going to uh, learn about urban development uh, and smart growth in manners of econometrics, economical uh, and, and uh, social, uh, social justice growth. Uh, smart cities emerging, emerging realities is an intro course that will actually uh, guide you into the world of smart cities and introduce the whole field uh, and the basics of it. Uh, there is a course uh, dealing with spatial justice in smart cities. So how smart city can actually uh, reduce equality or affect equality. What is uh, what are the dangers of smart cities in sense of uh, privacy issues, the central, centralization and decentralization of governance, and many other fascinating um, things that are actually related to justice and law. Uh, there's a technical course uh, regarding uh, tracking and GPS technologies for urban analysis, which is taking a uh, huge place now in smart cities, you know, that everything is actually location-based. Uh, your smartphone is actually giving location to many, many applications, your car is detected, and many other things are actually very sensible to their location. So there's a whole technical course that is dealing with that. Uh, there's an introduction to geospatial data science. So data science is a big word, and uh, it is uh, in many industries and scientific disciplines um, at the moment. And we're going to focus on the geospatial part of it. Uh, we're going to learn how to analyze big sets of uh, geometry and geographical data and uh, to uh, extract insights out of it. Um, we are going to learn about the technological infrastructures of cities. So how does it work? How do my, uh, my doorbell actually interact with my uh, smartphone when I'm out of home? How, uh, how is the uh, smartphone application, how does it know that the bus is coming in a city? How can we manage traffic? How can we manage healthcare in the city using uh, technological devices? All this infrastructure is going to be explained in a, in a one, one whole course. Uh, there's gonna be a course on a smart transportation system because a transportation is one of the key problems in cities. So uh, we are going to dedicate a special course for that, uh, given, by the way, by a, by a specialist from uh, external one from the industry. Uh, we're going to learn about microclimate and uh, sustainability in the city. Uh, so climate change, resilience to climate change, um, and all of the environmental issues that we actually experience in smart cities. Uh, we are going to learn about uh, simulating and trying to make a, a digital twin of a city. So that's called an urban simulation. And uh, there, there will be a project of technologies and managing smart cities. Right. So in particular, why the Hebrew? I think that many words uh, have already been uh, given in, in the introductory here. Uh, so in the Hebrew, we are actually aiming, uh, it, it's a um, it's a leading university. It's going to be a, a major, a major milestone in your uh, in your CV. So uh, we are going to actually or aiming towards uh, developing students with impactful and meaningful careers. Uh, this is the only master's program of this kind in Israel uh, of smart cities with uh, quantitative and technological aspects in the social uh, sciences. 
Uh, it, is, uh, it is an ac academic degree that leverages uh, whatever we have in the Hebrew uh, in the Department of Geography in particular, such as urban planning and geoinformatics. Uh, it is Jerusalem, as said before. So uh, it is, I'm, I'm a bit proud because I, would, you know, I lived here most of my life, but it's uh, one of a kind. Uh, and it's, going, it is, uh, it's a fascinating environment, both politically and even when we're talking technologically, uh, it's very fascinating because it is an ancient city who actually, that actually adjusts and implements technological uh, tools and smart city uh, methods at the moment as we speak. Uh, another reason to be in Jerusalem, uh, we have a lot of high tech here. We have, uh, it's a vibrant city close, even not, if not in specifically in Jerusalem, so many uh, high tech companies and technological hubs are in the reach of you know, 40 minute drive or so. Uh, and it's also going to be a um, living lab. Uh, even in the Hebrew University campus, we're going to actually deploy some uh, devices and, uh, and run experiments on, on the hallways here. It's going to be fascinating. Um, and uh, on the bottom line, you have a, a master's degree abroad in one year in smart cities. So it's a win-win situation. All right. Um, so again, um, some numbers about the Hebrew University already mentioned. We're talking about uh, many students, 15,000 workers, uh, many companies in Jerusalem, etc. cetera. Uh, you have access to uh, Jerusalem knowledge economy, which means that some of the course materials are actually uh, production of collaborations with the industry, with NGOs, with the government or the municipal of Jerusalem. Uh, we have access here to the resources of the Hebrew uh, that has the Hebrew, Hebrew Innovation Center, uh, all the startup environment in the Hebrew University. And if you, are, uh, if you have a spirit of internship, so this is the, actually the place to try and you know, connect towards your next uh, career step. Um, the Hebrew University is also, it's ranked pretty high in, in the world. Uh, I'm, I'm, you know, I don't like to brag, but it's a good university. And uh, the Rothberg International School is the oldest and largest overseas program uh, in Israel. Okay, I think that my time is almost up. Or you do? No, I still do have a timer. Okay. Um, in in uh, respect to jobs and, and job opportunities after uh, you graduate here, so there's you know three main uh, sectors that actually are booming at the moment uh, regarding you know um, hiring such uh, such skilled uh, employees. So there's a public sector, of course, with all the city planning, local government, central government agencies, and muni local municipalities. Uh, you name it, it, it penetrates every city, everywhere. Uh, cities are covered with sensors and, and they are craving for people to analyze it, to run optimization. Uh, someone that actually knows how to connect the technology with the social aspect and with the well being improvement of the citizens. It's, it's the missing link between the quantitative uh, fields and the social sciences. And this is one of the things we actually give. Uh, there's, a, of course, additional opportunities in the private sector. There are many companies that are now actually uh, developing all kinds of devices, data analytics services, IT, uh, autonomous vehicle industry, you name it. It's all location-based. And they, they are also very, very uh, in a hard look for, uh, uh, for people with such uh, skills and, and talent. Um, and additional firms of, uh, well, it's, it's combined with NGOs and other uh, things that actually give uh, um, other perspective about, you know, smart energy, uh, autonomous vehicle, again, sustainability and, and such. All right. Uh, that was just, you know, in a, in a nutshell. So I think I'll give now uh, Fatima the stage for, uh, for her administrative perspective, and then maybe we'll have like three minutes for additional questions. Right, uh, so Fatima, I'm releasing my screen share.
Uh, there you go, please. Thank you. Hi everyone, I'm going to make this quick. So my name is Fatima, I work at the admissions in Rothberg International School. So for the tuition of the MA in smart cities, it costs $10,750 plus uh, $450 for mandatory study tours. How do you apply? You click on this link, which I will send to you in the chat after we're done. Um, so the admission requirements are a BA. Uh, a minimum GPA of 3.2, which, which is equivalent to 80. CV, statement of purpose, two academic letters, and recommendations. Uh, you also need a TOEFL exam score of 80 or above, or IELTS exam score is uh, of six or above. Okay. So student life, here we have our our graduate committee coordinator will organize trips for you around Israel, lectures, Shabbat and holiday meals, activities with Israeli students. We also offer on-campus housing for everyone. So if you have any questions, please send them in the chat or you can send them to this, to the, to this email address to Amy Sarusi, our coordinator.